Another addiction. <laughs> One more addiction. You could say that I'm addicted. <laughs> what a, is it this time? I'm addicted, You're addicted. to them. <laughs> I knew it. Uh, we're watching the lady who's addicted to blow dryers today. I need to know more immediately. <laughs> I can't. I was trying to make sense out of it, and no, I got nothing. My name's Lori. All right, Lori. I am a mother to a beautiful little three-year-old, and I am addicted to sleeping with my blow dryer. Oh my! No! <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh my God! That is such a fire hazard. Yeah. Yes, it is. God. Oh my God! I was waiting for it to make. I don't. It doesn't make sense, but. No. I was like, does she eat it? Does she like heat? <laughs> what is it? it? Sleeps with it. Yeah. I mean, he, all right. I mean, I sleep with like a, we have like the little uh, Alexa thing. I'll just call it A because <laughs> I don't want to activate yours, but I tell it to uh, turn on rain sounds every night. I uh, say, play uh, rain sounds. And it makes like that rain noise. And I sleep to that. Uh, I was, one of those people, huh? Yeah. People swear by it. So fair enough. Well, I don't get it. I, I, I tried it out. I forget why we tried it out years ago. And I was like, that's actually pretty good. I slept good. And I, ever since then, I've done it. It's been like four years now. We also have a weighted blanket. So, you know, like the extra weight. Hell yeah. That, mm -hmm. that I'm aboard on. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. so, well, you just nerf yourself because now you're not going to be able to sleep without it. I'm addicted. You are, you're <laughs> addicted rain to rain sounds. sounds. It's too quiet without it now. And now whenever someone breaks in the house, I'll never know because my rain sounds will cover it up. <sighs> If I ever had that on, I would, I'm sure I would fall asleep, but I know I would wake up and be super pissed and be like, turn the f***ing shit off. I want to hear whales. <laughs> we got to turn yeah. it down like low enough to where you can hear it, but not loud enough to where, I don't know, things sound louder when you like wake up in the middle of the night, I guess, because yeah. there's nothing else happening. I am so paranoid about people breaking into our house because it already happened once. Wait, really? Marcia just like dropped our, our water bottle and I'm like... <laughs> Wait, when did someone Boy, break into your house? <laughs> two, two, three years ago, I think. And we, we, we weren't here. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember now. I remember, yeah, you weren't there. Yeah, okay. but I go into Swedish Kung Fu mode immediately. <laughs> from, so you better watch out. Don't even think about it. Yeah, I got a bat. You know, I can't have a shotgun behind me. I have door. a bat too, but I'm like, realistically, like, how fast am I going to get that out? It's kind of like an awkward <laughs> angle. Well, mine's like right behind the bedroom door. So like, I just jump up and it's there, you know? And yeah, but what if they enter your bedroom before you enter the... <laughs> Well, yeah. I'm already dead at that point, I guess. I just got to get up swinging. Now. <laughs> They're already in the room. That's what I mean. Can you Mine is behind my bed frame, and I'm like, oh, oh. this is going to take too long. How I need to sleep with it. And that's, it's very unrealistic fear. Like, how ballsy does a, a burglar have to be to, like, go into your room to get you? That's just a serial killer at that point. Yeah. Not going to happen, Kent. Well, you know, I people, guess. People do it. I guess People with, definitely do. With having they love to see people sleep. We have to watch out for, for those parasocial relationships on YouTube. You yes. Know, <laughs> yes. I will smack the shit out of you. <laughs> they'll wake, they'll be in your house. It'll be like 3 a.m. They'll be like, Felix, can I, can I get a picture? And you're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They just want a selfie. Anger, anger does bark, which I'm very happy about if there's noise. We actually had, uh, I, uh, you know, we have garbage days here and I missed one. So I had to put the trash out oh. and my God, were there a lot of noise outside our house? And I was just sweating the entire time. I'm like, they're coming, reaching for the bat right in. I'm like, oh, it's, it's those raccoons. <laughs> they're just eating your trash. You know, I feel bad really for like, if you're prepared, like if you're awake and you know, someone's breaking in, like you hear them jingling the door or whatever, like they're done yeah. because you already know where to hide. You know the layout. You know they're going. You're in. You're like home, home alone. You know, I'm like, this is welcome to my domain. That's right. They're like, all right, uh, where's the TV at? And bap, you know, bap beside the head because they didn't see me sitting beside the refrigerator. Ha ha, got him. <laughs> anyway, back to this lady burning her house down with her blood. <laughs> <laughs> We're weirder than her. <laughs> the sound of it, the warmth of it, it's just you. Instantly put <laughs> the sound. Yeah. It's you. It's me. Dude, there, this is reminding me of one thing. There's, there's one thing that puts me to sleep really fast. What is it? When, like, you know, growing up, me and my, my, me and my siblings you know, would share, like, video games or whatever. Whenever my brother plays any Fallout or, like, any Bethesda oh, game, any Bethesda what? game, I go, like, right to sleep. <laughs> the roads are the dustiest. <laughs> I was the like, winds <laughs> are the... <laughs> <Just out. laughs> and from that night forward, I was hooked. She had a, kind of a nice one in that picture. Now she's got this freaking... She must go through a lot of them. Not great one, yeah. On my blow dryer on low, 
feel it on my hands. Don't put it in. Jeez, how does she? She got one down by her feet. How many she got in the bed? <laughs> oh my gosh. Then I zone into the sound of it. Zone in. You know, you got a blow dryer like one of these. Have you ever like covered the back of it? Yeah, it, it starts smelling like, like the, it burned right it, away. It starts getting really hot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really bad. I mean, she's got it. She's got it plenty of you know space over here, but I guarantee you, there's been some times when yeah, yeah, she's been she burnt. wakes up and it smells smoke. Yeah, you know, sleeping with the blow dryer causes wait causes her physical harm. Well, yeah, of course it does. It probably burns her. I had a really, really bad burn incident. <laughs> so serious. <gasps> <gasps> no way. It's just like blow dryer had just attacked me that night. <laughs> it was having a bad mood. I don't understand. Normally he's so nice. He's like, no, blow dryer, please. I got the quarter around her neck. <laughs> <laughs> Serious marital issues. Yeah, her husband's probably like, turn it off. Turn it off. I hate it. Hate it. I'd wake <laughs> up in the middle of the night and she's knocked out and I'm up tossing and turning. He probably got used to it eventually, you know, but it's probably. Yeah. You know, I, I always like to sleep in the room when it's cool. You know, I don't like to be too hot. No, terrible idea. You don't like to be cold? It's like, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, cold. okay, okay. I was saying so it's like always getting the hot part of the pillow with the hairdryer oh, in there. I don't oh, want that. Oh, oh yeah, it's just hot in Nightmare. the room. Come over to my side of the bed where I'm cuddling with my blow dryer. <laughs> Cuddling with the blow dryer. Got cuddled with us. Three-year-old daughter also no, battles. No, she transferred it. <sighs> Uh, I mean, uh, the kids, your kids learn from you, so yeah. You yeah. Go. When we were sharing a room, she she definitely had to have it. Well, of course she of course she likes it. You're over there blowing all the, the nice warm air. It's like ah, oh, like a little spa mm. day for her. Of course, of course she's gonna be like, heck yeah, let's do that more, mom. As long as I'm using it, she's gonna be partial to it. Then stop. <laughs> Just hanging out. <laughs> Watching TV, <laughs> blowing the blow dryer on some feet. Why is she blowing it? Uh, this is a little weird. Is she cold? Because you can just get a blanket. <laughs> Someone tell this woman about it. <laughs> tell her to get blankets. a blanket, please. <laughs> My name is. Oh, this, okay. This is uh, the actual full episode, so it goes back and forth. I've already done this oh, one. Oh, I see. Yeah, this one is a lady who eats toilet paper. So does my dog. <laughs> hey, what do you. you go, oh. <laughs> All right. All right, I mean, here we go. Uh, it tastes so good. Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Delicious. Amazing. So it's been 24 years now. I'm still sleeping with the blow dryer. Wow. 24 years. Wow. She's not dead yet. She I need to see the statistics they throw up at the black screen. She's burned down four houses and killed 32 people or something <laughs> yeah. like that. I've watched you be addicted to the blow dryer. And you have to understand why it really bothers me. Oh, this is the intervention part of the, they have to go sit with the friends. They have and, to go through yeah. it where they don't, no one really cares, but yeah. they have to confront her. And then they'll go to the doctor and the doctor will be like, that's dangerous <laughs> anyway. <laughs> to watch you go through something that is mutilating your body. It's mutilating. I mean, she got God. scars, but that's an interesting word. Yeah, yeah, you're being mute. I mean, it does attack her, apparently, she said. It is an addiction. I mean, even though it seems kind of silly to us in the outside world, it's something that you have had to have. <laughs> like the, the way they were the, out here in the outside world where all the normal people live. You're weird, but we get you. You're in your uh, blow drying world. <laughs> yeah. oh, Come out like a, of it, please. It's like, a, it's like an episode of JoJo. Her stand is like the blow dryer stand. <laughs> yeah. It just makes noise and keeps you up. You could literally just do what you do, like play the audio. Like, right? I know she likes the heat, but... Get a blanket. Idiot. <laughs> you idiot. You could just put on a heated blanket and turn on some sound. If you're addicted, just stop, idiot. <laughs> stop. I'm a little disappointed she doesn't make the blow dryer thing her entire persona. Oh, it's always Like, it. she's wearing earrings of it and, like... <laughs> yeah. A blow dryer shirt and... <laughs> blow dryer fan club. Yeah. She, she had a whole brand just ready. She could be the blow dryer queen, but no. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of things involved. Sleep soundly it's and psychological. Safely. It's physical. It's mental. She has psychological, physical, and mental. Like yeah, psychological. Yeah, she's gonna say it's because her mom was mean to her, and then we oh. feel bad. Oh no! Well, uh, where's the <laughs> where's the point where we get canceled? I don't want to be 65 or 70 and still whipping out my blow dryer at night. Yeah, when you're that age, you'll just have to lay there and burn when your bed catches on fire because <laughs> you're like, oh, life alert. You won't even feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see what the doctor says, and he goes, "Why well, you can't believe this?" I sleep with my blow dryer. Tell what she doesn't do with that blow dryer. It's a blow dryer hair. Look at that hair. It's all over the place. <laughs> <laughs>
It's like, no, it's for sleeping only. I don't want anybody telling me that I can't use it. She's a Karen when it comes to her blow dryer. Nobody tells me what to do with my blow dryer. Nobody touches my blow dryer. That's why all these scenes, my husband's only, he had one thing where we asked him a question, he'd never seen him again. <laughs> he told me one time, that was it. I think any addict that I've ever asked will tell me all the time, I don't have to feel. Oh, jeez. Uh, is the blow dryer drew the old man? Man, I gotta try that shit. God, yeah. I can't feel, I can't feel anymore while I got my blow dryer. It's burned <laughs> oh, all the nerve endings off my skin. Sound you made. <sighs> Think about not using your blow dryer. What kind of feelings come up for you? Uneasy. A little anxious. Mm. Damn, that sounds rough. Mm. Uneasy and a little anxious. I feel bad now for making fun of <laughs> those inconveniences. Uh, it seems really rough out there. <laughs> yeah, look, I feel her pain, you know, whenever I have to, like, call the doctor to make an appointment or something, I do feel uneasy and anxious. And uh, I, I, I know what she's coming from. It's tough. So then I get married to call him. So. <laughs> you, you don't like calling your doctor? I, I, well, no, in America, I would call whatever. It didn't bother me. But in Australia, I don't know. I don't like calling anybody in Australia. Yeah, because no one understands what the f*** they're saying. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, are you American? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, All right, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mary! <laughs> oh, I do do that whenever, like, we need, like, a... Uh like, a like, a builder or someone to come and, like, do work around the house. I always get her to call. Even for that? Yeah, well, when I do it, they, like, they, they're busy. Or they don't have, like, I can't get them to come out. Oh, But when yeah. Mary does it, they're, like, there the next yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so she calls them, and then they show up, and then I step outside. I'm like, all right, this is what I need done. <laughs> <laughs> all right this is it one thing i actually hate is when marcia opens the door but she wants me to open for like she answers in the in the doorbell thing oh yeah, yeah, yeah. intercom but then she's like can you open and i'm just like they're just gonna feel weird that if some guy comes out after hello <laughs> hello come out. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right but wouldn't it be hilarious if you, that was just you sounded like that when you came out hello <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need to do to not make it weird. <laughs> yeah, that'll fix it. All right, I'll try that next time. Thanks, man. I'd like to see you learn some of this deep breathing okay. techniques. Yeah. It goes like this. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> It'll remind you of your blow dryer. And you <laughs> With the hot breath. <sighs> <laughs> I'm all about meditation and yes. prayer. Oh, prayer. Yeah, you got to pray about right. it. Okay. You need to ask Jesus to deliver you from this blow dryer addiction. That's what he's here for. You know, I wonder, she could also put a timer, like they got those little uh, wall oh, timer yes. things. yes. Yeah, and set that up to where it stays on for 30 minutes and cuts off. I wish so Good smart. idea. Good Lord, look she at this. You should us. be a therapist, Ken. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, you, need, you got an addiction? Wow. Well, just set off a cutoff time, you know, and stop That's doing it. better than, oh, you need to breathe and pray. <laughs> breathe Shut the fuck. How much am I paying there? <laughs> You got a license for this? <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I don't know why it's cracking me up. You idiot. One thing that's been really beneficial for some of my clients is to write a goodbye letter to their addiction. Dear blow dryer, <laughs> you <d> <laughs> You've been abusive to me. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> this is goodbye. We're breaking up forever. Unless I need to blow dry my hair, then... <laughs> then I, yeah. Yours truly, forever, love. I mean, no, throw it away. No, start over. <laughs> I'll never stop thinking about you. Please don't leave me. I'm sorry. <laughs> the husband comes in, reads it like, what? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why Maybe this actually works. Sound? I think, uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, why is this so sad? Uh, at least it says blow dryer addiction. If it just said dear blow dryer, that would be... <laughs> but did she do it? Yeah, but did she do it is the question. And like, did it? I mean, she didn't. She wanted to stop doing it for like the the reason, like the reasons of like danger, right? But I mean, there wasn't anything else going on other than that. With the help of meditation, okay. Loria stopped sleeping with the blow dryer. She admits she still craves it and occasionally uses it during the day. <gasps> She'll do what? Oh. She's still addicted. That doesn't oh. change anything. Oh my God. The ladder didn't work. I can't believe it. She did meditation. She didn't do the breathing techniques. That's the problem. Ooh. That was a fucking weird one. <laughs> it was odd. Well, anyway, that's the end of the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, tell us what you think about all that. If you liked it, yeah. Oh, I said that already. If you, today uh, is your birthday, happy birthday. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>